Hello guys, Smashing Pumpkin here, back with more live dueling sessions, and yeah, I mean, we're just waiting on a game right now, uh, still playing Water City, because I like bad decks and I cannot lie, you other brothers can't deny, just gonna wait until I get a game, and then we're gonna see if it's really, really lame, Hey, I'm sorry, that... Uh, my apologies to Jesse Jackson. Can we get a game already so I can stop being awkward? Or is this just my eternal punishment? Just being awkward on camera forever. And ever. And ever. And ever. And ever. So I hope you guys enjoyed the last video. Even though it was me playing against Exodia. Which is really fun Yu-Gi-Oh. But it, fortunately it wasn't that long of a game. Maybe you guys find it entertaining. Hopefully. And what do you know? We have a game. And we are still doing singles, and we are still low rated. Because I play like four single games in a season. Except when I build a really bad deck, and then I'm just like, hey, let's play bad yu gi -Oh's. Ooh, this hand is so terrible. Um. I guess I'm going to use Atlantis's effect and search out the legendary ocean and then not activate it just so he can mind crush me. And we're going to see how that goes. Maybe do I want to set beast? It's so bad. No, I don't. Just ends turn. He MSTs, that's great. <laughs> Um, well, and he sets two back row, and a monster. Go to Eris. No, fuck, I of course get the another Atlantis. Well, I can summon Hydro, get on, and just try and get in there. Sounds like a plan. Nope, bottomless. Fuck your couch. Um... Yeah, this is really hard for me to put him on something because I don't know anything he's playing. But I am going to duality. That was probably stupid. I'm going to hit a legendary ocean. Yep. Two of them. Nope. Okay. Well, yeah, I should probably have searched out another legendary ocean, but, you know. I are a dumb. So I'm just going to set Ariel... Maybe activate a legendary ocean? Mm. I don't know. Don't know. That's probably like an old vindictive magician or something like that. And I just get completely fucked. But I will activate it maybe as like a dust tornado or an MST. And that would be cool. Because I bait that. He dark holes. That's special. Yay, battling boxers. That's exciting. Well, the joke's on you, Budro, because I have my Gishki Beast. And I use his beastly effect. And he Torrentials. Great. Well, he seems to be burning through his resources really quickly. So that's exciting. Did I play Engineer? I better. Hmm. Well, okay, okay. He's dropping his Kage to Kage. Nope, I don't play Engineer. But I do play that Leviathan Dragon. Okay, well... Okay. <sighs> Interesting. I thought Switch Hitter was the one that you really wanted. Oh, okay. So he goes that and then dumps and then... Yeah, okay. That makes sense. Pretty awesome maneuvering going down. Um, hmm. I think next turn. Yeah, good play, bro. Next turn, I think I'm gonna summon Atlantis, and then just attack over, and then he's going to make lead yoke, and then that's going to be fine by me. 
because then I can summon my Gishki Beast and then just 101 it. And then that will make me good at you. Oh, yay! This is exciting. No, wait, no, it doesn't. I have Legendary Ocean on the field, so I can't make Lagia. But I will still summon Atlantis. And I will attack. And he totally takes that 300 points of damage. I set my lance, and I end my turn. And we are 100% sure he does not have a space typhoon. So we probably would have spaced this play, in all honesty. So he goes with Lady Oak. That's perfectly fine. And then he safe sends it. Well... <laughs> This is going to be painful. Yep. Still cannot hit me directly, which is probably the good thing. The best thing about this scenario. Um. The Legendary Ocean probably screws me out of... I just have to wait till I get Coderus, I guess. That's probably just the name of the game. Is that. So there. Don't be mad because I'm doing me, but then you'll be doing you. Don't be... Okay, so he's special summons, so he doesn't get a battle phase. That's fine. Don't be mad because I'm doing me, but then you'll be doing you. Don't be mad because I'm doing me, but then you'll be doing you. Do be doing you. Okay, I think I'm going to use Atlantis. To fish out another legendary ocean, so... Okay, cool. So this way, I'm not totally screwed, and I can maybe draw into my Coderus, which I lowered the count of because I'm dumb. Um, hmm. What rank three do I want to go into? Decisions, decisions. But he probably just has the Fiendish Chain that ruins me anyway. I really didn't want to use this effect now anyway, but it's cool because oh, I don't even play Zen Mint. <laughs> I'm so bad. Ah, my life. Think about your life, Ian. Think about your choices. Well, that's an interesting way to go around doing that. I'm not going to judge him, though. Because that would be a dumb... And unfortunately, you get deprisoned. Yay! Now I guess we just win. Oh wait, this is unlimited amount of times, I guess. And is this destroyed by a card effect? Okay. And then I just go effect. Legendary addition to the graveyard, and then destroy safe zone. Okay, that was a legitimate uh, concern, but fortunately it does say up to two cards in your opponent controls. So, I can just not destroy, but send to the graveyard. Safe zone. Which is awesome. Then I activate another legendary ocean. Send that to the graveyard, and then destroy the yoke. Well, not destroy it, but rather... Interesting. Okay, well he gets back headgear, which is fine. And then get rid of that. Um There's not a whole lot left for me here other than just to swing in for fourteen. I can call the haunted, but I feel like that's kind of a waste of a play. So we're not going to do that. And instead, just kind of sit back and watch the sunrise. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my lordy. This one's headgear. That's fine. Okay. So then his glass draw effect activates, and that's going to get him the sparrer back to his hand. Then he gets a special summon the sparrer. 
and then it gets to overlay into another one. So it's going to be three lead yokes that he plays in a game. That's exciting for him. Um, yeah, it's really fortunate that he didn't hit the call to haunted. Because now I get to go into a 101. I dealt with all three lead yokes without too much hassle, which is always a good thing. There we go. There it is. I only play one 101. That's so surprising. But I'm going to probably, yeah, we'll detach. And then he quits. That's understandable. I mean, there's no way that I should be able to destroy three lead yokes. But I guess it happens.